something like being live. So having originally thought we'd have to do it inside, because of the weather forecast, we looked out the window and the sun was out, I thought, yay, we can do it outside. But then the wind picked up a little bit and you couldn't hear us, so hopefully now you can hear us. Okay, a little bit echoey, but we'll be fine. Um, okay, so we've got a session planned this morning that is all about the component parts of how you build up the muscles in your body to run faster. So you might think that's a bit odd, how can you get faster and run faster when we're going to be working out in such a small space? But what we're doing is we're going to break down to the component parts of how you run, the bits of your body you use, the muscles you use, and how we develop those. So we're going to work on those today, and the next time we can get together, we'll put all these different parts together and we'll do a session where we're able to... Um, hold on, Deb's just adjusting the lighting. No, you can't see the flag. <laughs> yeah, no, you can't see it. <laughs> okay, so when we get together again, we'll um, work on this and we will do this in a way that allows us to put all the component parts together and we'll, do, we'll hopefully be able to build up all of your speed. So it doesn't matter whether you play in the forwards, in the backs, in the front row, at fullback or wing, if you run faster in any position, you'll get better. So we are going to start with a little bit of a warm up. So, um, Dave, could you just shuffle to the left a little bit? Thank you. I'm going to descend to our mat because it's making too much noise. So if we just start by jogging on the spot, just getting those toes just off the ground. Don't worry about getting your knees too high at the moment. We're just trying to get a little bit of blood in our muscles, air in our lungs, getting that heart rate up a little bit. Start moving your arms a little bit as well. Okay, just keep it going. Keep those feet just getting off the ground. Hopefully you've got a little bit of space around you. Okay, now what we need to do now is while you're still running is look up, make sure there's nothing above you. We're just going to have to move a little back a little bit because there's a beam above us. And then if you've got a ball in your hands, you can use that. If you haven't, just use it. Raise your arms. So as we go, you have to raise your arms up and down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Keep those feet moving, keep those toes getting off the ground. Up, down, up. Down, up, down, keep jogging, don't stop. Keep those legs moving up, down, up, down, and relax. That was just one minute of jogging on the spot, boys. Hopefully you've got a little bit of air in your lungs, hopefully your heart rate's going a little bit higher, hopefully you've got some blood in your legs. Okay, so now what I want us to do is we're just going to slowly, don't go too deep on these, we're just going to do 10 squats, nice and easy. Again, just getting some blood in those muscles in our legs. So, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Doing ten. Okay, then just catching up. She missed the first one. Okay, she's shake those legs about. Oh, by the way, Harry's not here. Apparently oh, Harry's in dad's, dad's this weekend. He's got something more important to do. <laughs> Does he? What could be more important than this? Come on. Okay. So just find a little bit more space, and then just swing those arms about. Okay, and then up and down. How's your shoulder, Debs? Hurting. Go easy, please. Yeah, if you've got anything that's a bit sore, just take it easy. Don't push yourself too hard. Okay. Then across the body again. Find the light. Yeah, don't smash the light. Okay, right, so we're now ready to start working on those component parts of running. So one of the most important parts of running is your balance, and how well you balance, how well you control yourself, and there's a lot of parts of you that do a lot of that automatically. So just while you're standing here, standing still, there's bits of your body that are working without you even thinking about it to keep you balanced, to stop you falling forwards, backwards, or left and right. So we're just going to work on some of those. So what I want you to do is I want you just to bend down a little bit and then take a little jump forward when I say go. A little jump forward. Now I don't want you to jump three metres forward. Just want you to jump and land and I want you to sink into that landing and see if you can do it as silently and quietly as possible. I'll demonstrate first. This is about that control and that balance. So it's just a little jump forward and then a sink down. What I don't want is a big thud. <laughs> Make the whole house shake. 
This is about being light on your toes. So a little jump forward, sink down into a try and balance and not fall forward like I just did. So we're going to do five of those. So the first one, you ready and jump. Sink and balance, stick that landing, hold that landing. This isn't about how far you can jump, this is about how well you can control that landing. So that's one. Let's go for two. If you're upstairs, anyone on the floor below shouldn't be able to hear you doing this. Okay, so that's two. Let's go for number three. Oh, lost my balance. See, I'm not doing it properly. I'm not concentrating because I'm trying to talk to you guys at the same time. So really hold that balance at the end. Don't be too quick to move. So that's three, let's go for four. There you go. I concentrated a bit better that time. Didn't fall over. Hopefully you're all balancing and landing properly. Okay, hold on, wait for it. This is about control. So just to catch our breath, we're going to go for number five, and go. Well done. And just take a breather, catch your breath, shake those legs out, shake your arms. I don't know if you noticed, but just got a, a, an iPad next to the camera showing us how we're doing. So it's really interesting watching me and Dev doing it. And it's interesting how much you use your arms, so use those arms to balance. Because again, when you're running, your arms are a good component, we're going to work on that, we'll come to that in a minute. So we're going to progress this now, I'm going to do one leg at once. So first of all, I want you to start with your dominant leg. So if you're right footed, right handed, I want you to start on your right foot. And it's exactly the same, I don't want you leaping all the way across your lounge or trying to get over the sofa. This is literally just a jump forward, a balance and stick that landing on one foot. So again, we're going to do five of these in each foot, start with that dominant foot. Just don't be too ambitious in how far you jump first. Dev is looking at me like she's scared. Okay, so I'm going to demonstrate first. You're going to start on one foot. You're literally just going to hop forward and stick that landing. Now that was a bit heavy footed. I could hear my noise. Sink into it. Absorb that pressure as you land. So on your right foot, if you're right footed, left foot, if you're left footed, use those arms to balance. Lean forward, back, whatever you need to do to stick that landing. You ready? And jump. Stop. <laughs> and step backwards. Okay? If you didn't balance the first time, don't worry. You can do all this, you can practice all this whenever you want. You do whatever you need, the other leg in your hands, just try and get that balance and stick that and sink right in, absorb that pressure. So we're gonna do number two. Okay, so to get that momentum, I don't know if you notice, but I just swung my other foot forward to get me forward to start. So it does not all the power isn't just coming from the jumping leg. So jump. Oh, completely misjudged that. Yay. So I need to practice this, I need to do more of this. Okay, and we're going to go for number three. In this side, and I are leaping forward a metre, so if you're always falling over, just shorten how far you jump. It doesn't matter if you only jump about 10 or 20 centimetres. The important bit is you get off the floor, you land, and you hold that land and you balance. Teaching your muscles and your joints to balance and control themselves. So, is this number four or five? I think it's five. 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 Okay. I think you can count. Okay. Good control. I'm still far too heavy footed because I can hear my landing. So, you're going to swap legs now. You're going to go on your non dominant leg. This is going to be probably easier because, especially those of you who love to kick the ball, Jensen, you're what, here, I don't think. what tends to happen is. You kick the ball with your dominant foot, so your, your other leg is the one that holds all your weight and is better at balancing. So let's see if this works and see if you are actually better with this other foot. So let's go for number one. Oh, I'm obviously not better on that foot. Okay, I probably should, again, I probably tried to jump too far. So let's just shorten how far we jump. Get that landing. All that yoga did. That's number two, let's go for number three. Better. Concentration. Concentration. I can't talk and do something else at the same time. He's a man. Thank you. Let's have that sexist bias, please. Number three. Number four, actually. Just checking you're all counting. That was number four. Well done. And then the last one on this leg. Ah, oh, okay. That's my best one yet. Resend, Debs. <laughs> okay. Just checking so, well done. So just take a breather. They're just probably going to say hello to a few people. Uh, uh, Whoever, whoever's on in control, parents or whatever, tell us how easy you boys were finding that, whether that was easy, hard, how many, because we did 
Um, was that 15 jumps in total? How many of them did you think they landed? How many did they not? You can do all of this in your own time. The video's going to be on Facebook. You can watch it back and go through it again if you want to. So. Okay, so hello to... Good morning, Ed. Good morning, Jacob. Good morning, Cam. Good morning, Josephine. Good morning, Mario. Good morning, David. Good morning, me. Good morning, Alex R. Good morning, Ashley. Good morning, Freckles. Um, good morning again, Jacob. You're watching twice. Good morning, Alex. Well, we want to watch and want to comment on. Yeah. Twice. Good morning, Nick. Good morning, Little Will, which is now by ish. the way, Ish. You're Nick, Neil, because you're not Little Will anymore. You're so ish. You're now Ish. And um, Kelly on Callum. 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 Oh, Callum. Hello. Callum. How's the toes, Callum? Let's oh, can I say Nick? Hello, Nick. Yeah, you did. Cool. Okay, so now we're going to work. So, so there's really three component parts to how fast you go. One is how well you're balanced. One is how fast your limbs are moving, and one is how long your stride is. We can't really do the stride leg bit here because you haven't got enough space. But we can work on the other two. So we've worked a little bit on balance. So let's move on a little bit to speed. So again, I think I've said this before, but in case you can't remember, the faster your arms move, the faster your legs move when you're running, and it's all about coordination. So again, when we're in a big open field space, we'll work on this a bit differently, but at the moment, what I literally want you to do is just find some space, and for a whole minute, what I want us to do is just be moving those arms. Now, I don't want little movements, I want your elbow to go back as far as you can, your just, fingers to go up, just arms. just arms moving. Try and keep those legs still. You ready? And go. So big movements, but as fast as you can. Come on, I'm going to do a whole minute of this, so keep working. Come on, definitely go faster than that. Yeah, no, I'll just be careful on my shoulder. Okay. <laughs> Okay, big moves, get those elbows back. Hands nice and flat, like you're slicing the air. Pretend you're a fruit ninja. Does anyone still play fruit ninja? I've never even heard of it. Never heard of fruit ninja. No. Okay, keep going, come on. Let's get those arms moving. You should be feeling this in your shoulders. Come on, remember, get those elbows back as far as you can each time. Fingertips up as far as you can. Come on, faster. <laughs> come on. We can do this. We've got 20 seconds left to go, just keep moving. Come on. Well, you should better be doing this and not just sitting here laughing at us. Come on, get those arms going. Keep those elbows getting nice and high at the back. Fingertips high at the front. Come on, keep moving. Don't stop yet. Got five seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. Well done. And take a breather. Shake those arms. Move the shoulders a bit. Do not touch the water bottle. Oh, okay. Sorry, water yeah. bottle's holding the camera up. <laughs> if you've got water, grab a quick drink, take a moment, catch your breath. Okay, so, the other bit of you that needs to move nice and fast is your feet. So we're going to combine arms and feet. Now this time, I don't want your arms doing massive things. And I don't want your feet doing massive things. Can you see our feet? Yeah, you can see our feet on the camera. What I want you to do is little movements with your arms like this. You're going to be slightly bent over. And I want you to move your feet as far as you can. Just get your toes off the floor. And we'll do that for a minute. Okay, you ready to go? So feet moving as fast as you can, using those arms to dictate their foot speed. You ready to go? Uh -huh. Okay, three, two, one, go. So, fast feet. Now you want people below you in the floor below you to hear. So, if you're upstairs. So, fast feet, come on. Should be a nice fast. Da -da 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 -da. Nice noise that you're making. So, little arm movements. Oh my god. Try and get your body a bit more upright there. Hands on your sides. Just don't let that speed slow. Come on, come on, keep it so fast. Don't get your feet so far off the floor. Just a tiny bit off the floor. Speed. Come on, keep going. 20 seconds left. Oh my God. Come on, only two thirds of the way through. Keep going, come on. Feet fast. Faster, faster. Come on. Just a tiny bit off the floor. You can listen to your calves, your thighs. If you feel your feet slowing down, then speed your arms up. Five, four, three. Two, one, and relax. Okay, walk about a little, breathe, and it's two. Okay, 
Okay. Grab another swig of water. Okay, Debs? No, I hate lockdown. <laughs> I much prefer standing on the side, giving you abuse from Patrick. Oh, thanks. Okay. So being fast at running and sprinting is all that explosive movement. So it's all for a while being able to lift big heavy weights in the gym or push in a scrummage or be able to fight in a mall. But if you want to run fast, you've got a big explosive movement. So we're going to just work on those. We're going to build up to it. So we're going to start. If you've got your ball, grab it in your hands. If you haven't, just get your hands out in front of you. Hands at palms about waist height. And we're going to be doing high knees. And what I want is 20 on each side. So we do 40 in total. So don't worry too much about how fast you do it. What's important is you keep your hands where they are and your knees come up and hit your palms each time. Don't bring your hands down to your knees. I want those knees up high. Because again, this is helping work on that stride length that we can't really do inside. Because the higher your knees go, the further out your foot can reach and the further you stride in each running step. I know that looks a bit weird. And I'm from, <laughs> something from Monty Python. There's a reference to your parents. The Ministry of City Walks. Um, so, we're just going to do that. So, we're going to do 40. So, that's 20 on each side. So, I find it really hard to count on both sides because you do it quite quickly. So, if you just count on one side and count up to 20, then you'll be fine. So, ready, go whenever you're ready. Again. We're going to do that again, but this time, same again, this time I want you to concentrate, and I was particularly watching Debs again, which was really good at, her heels didn't touch the ground at all, all toes, so all sprinters are toes, I don't know how many of you ever watched Usain Bolt or sprinters in the Olympics, when they have their spikes on their feet, they have no spikes further back than here, spikes here, toes and balls of the foot, because that's the only part of their foot that makes contact with the ground in the 100 metres or 200 metres sprint they do. So same again, hands up with the waist height, get those knees up to hit your palms, but concentrate on only toes touching the floor, I don't want any heels on the floor. So again, it shouldn't be as, quite as loud a sound because you're not thudding down, it should be a, a lighter sound, but don't worry too much about the noise, concentrate on getting those, keeping those toes on the floor. So in your own time, in your own space, 20 on each side, 14 total. Go. Good work, Debs. And those toes, well done. Excellent. So have a little walk around again, have a breather. Probably feeling that in your thighs. Oh, I've got a loose green thread. Probably feeling that in your thighs because we've been working Hi, Kieran, the quad yes. muscles. Thank you, Patrick. I might have had a glass of wine last night. Just the one, of course, for medicinal purposes. Okay, so now we're going to work the muscles on the back of the legs, the hamstrings. So again, if you've got your ball, if you hold it behind you. If you don't, just put your, the back of your hands on your buttocks and we're going to swing our feet up so our heels hit our palms as we come up. Same again, concentrate on toes, we're going to do two of these, 20 on each side, 40, so we start on our toes, the first couple might not quite reach your bottom <laughs> as you're warming up, and it might really, if, if you've got particularly tight or sore legs or you just haven't done any exercise for a while or you're very inflexible, then it might not be till towards the end of the set you actually start managing to hit your palms. Don't worry about that, just keep your hands flat to your bum and keep working. So, Whenever you're ready, turn to each side, 40, let's go. Okay, 
Okay. Rest your breaths. Catch your breath. Oh, it's warm in here, isn't it, Jess? Uh huh. I don't think. Okay. How are you all doing? How are you all getting on with this? Give us some feedback. Let us know. This is hard work, not hard enough. Okay, so we're going to do another one of those sets. I'm going to move on to a very strange movement I'm going to show you about explosive power. Okay, so we have one more. When you're ready, and go. Stay on those toes. Don't be tempted to land on those heels. Try and get your heels all the way up. So hit your hands now. On those toes. Okay, and well done. And take a breather. I'm not going to the whole room shake. Nick, well done, Nick. We went for a 4K run before this. Oh, good work, Nick. I hear you beat your personal best yesterday as well. So well, well done. done. Good stuff. I did 30 minutes of yoga. Yeah, I just did 30 minutes of yoga. Yeah, let us know what else you're doing, guys. If you're moving some weights about, going out for a run, going out on your bike, whatever you're doing, let us know. Photos are in the Facebook group, that'd be great. Yeah, good. So now again, active boys. Balls down out of the way if you've got one. You need to find some space, you need to look up. And I'm just gonna need to come over here, Debs, just to show the movement. So all you need to think of is get your right thumb, put it by your side, and your left knee. Okay, and your left knee is going to go back as your right knee and your right thumb go up. Okay? Yeah. I'm just wondering how you're going to do that with the sofa behind you. <laughs> okay, we're going to try and do this static. Okay, so let me explain that again. Go sideways. Ski your right hand. Good idea. So what we're going to do is we're going to drive off. Face. So whichever side you're driving off, if you're driving off the right leg, you want to concentrate with your right arm getting the power in that. So take a little step back because we're going to take a little step forward, drive that foot down, and then push up. So a little step forward and up. So your left knee's coming up as your right thumb's coming up. It's a little bit like skipping, but we haven't got the space to be skipping. So let me show you that again, because we're going to do a set of 10 of these. So you're going to take a step forward, and then as that foot hits the floor, you're then going to drive up off it. But remember that right thumb, so you're going to go step, drive, and I really want to see you getting that foot off the ground. I'm big heavy lump, so I don't get very high off the ground. But some of you guys are going to get a lot higher. Okay? So we're going to do set 10. So make sure that you've got the space around you. So you take a step forward, drive down, push up. That's one. Take a step forward, drive down, push up. Two. Three. Four. Right, ball on the toes as well, remember guys? No, thumbs going up, not down. So you're driving with that right leg, thumbs up. That's it, beautiful. So as your right thumb's going up, your left knee's going up, face is opposite. So as your right arm going up, that's giving the opposite movement to drive down with your right knee. And this is that explosive movement you want when you're sprinting. That power down into the ground. Okay, that's going to be about 10 by now. Okay. So what we've been working on, guys, is knees up high. While you're running to get those knees up. Being able to have opposite power in those hamstrings. And then as you're running, that drive down into the ground, that powerful push off the ground. So, you know when people are standing in front of a bull, and the bull's really angry, he's got steam coming out of his nose, and he's doing that. That's exactly what the bull's doing. He's getting ready to drive with those front legs to push forward. So we're gonna do the same this time. I'm gonna turn around straight this side, but we're gonna do the other way around. So left arm, and right knee. And again, if like me, you're right-handed, this is gonna be harder. So remember, left thumb is gonna be going up as we're driving down with our left foot, and we're concentrating on getting that right knee forward. So I'll give you one demo. Okay, so you take a step back, step, step back, step forward, and up. Step, as you step back, 
put your thumb backwards, and then go drive like that. Okay? So let's do 10 of those. Toes again, remember guys. So arm back, step forward, drive up with the knee. That's it, well done, Jess. <laughs> arm back. So you're going down with one leg, driving into the ground, and getting the other knee nice and high. Oh, us. Sit down. Okay, keep going. Remember, draw it into the ground and the other knee up nice and high. So come on, get ten of those done. No idea. Okay, you got seven. Okay, that's really good. Again, once we've got some open space, I'll just demonstrate. We'll build this together and we'll be going one, two, three. In fact, actually, let's do that now. Can you do that on the spot? So, take a moment, catch your breath. Uh, well done, Nick. Did uh, ten, 10 seconds off his personal best. Oh, keep going, Nick. That's good stuff. So, we're going to do the same again, but we're going to do both legs at once. So, this is literally kind of just skipping on the spot. So, I'll just demonstrate what it should look like first. It's basically the two different things we've just done tied together. So if you start by stepping into it and then go up and down on the spot, that'll probably help. So you get our right, get both hands ready, but you're going to start by driving down with that right foot. So the right arm's going to come forward. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, and we're going to do ten of those, okay? So just take a step forward to get into it because it's just easier to get started. Then we're going to go up on the spot. And I want you to really concentrate on driving down with the legs that's driving off the floor, up with the knee that's coming up, and that thumb that's opposite to the knee. So you've got one knee up on one side and one thumb up on the other. Get that thumb up nice and high, which means you're going to have to swing it back nice and far. So remember those arm movements we did at the start? That wasn't just for fun. We were building up to this. This is the most complicated thing we're going to do today, guys, so don't worry. So we're going to step into it. We're going to do a set of ten. So when you're ready, and go. One. Those knees up. Drive those arms up. Okay. Brilliant. Good stuff, Dev. Nice arms. See how far Dev's arms are coming back? So she can really drive up on the forward movement. Trust me, that's a lot easier static than doing it with him. Sprint training. Yeah. So when Des and I do our weekly speed training, when we go out and do it, we do that over about a 40 metre track and we do a set of 20 going forwards. Because you then, you're not just driving up, you're driving forwards as well. Okay, so we've got a couple more exercises to go, I know we're running over a little bit for time, but we did start a bit late. So now, this is going to be the last one based on that explosive power. So again, you're going to need to look above you. And what I want you to do is get a nice deep squat. Don't spread your knees out, put your knees together, but feet shoulder width apart. And get those arms back. And all in one movement, so you're going to be on your toes, so if you're on your heels, you're going to fall, fall over backwards and lose your balance. I literally just want you to jump as high as you can in the air. And when you're up in the air, get those knees up nice and high. So from really down low deep, I want you to do that. Not to land so far. Try and keep your balance on your land. Mind your head. Yeah. Be quick if you're doing this, mind your head. Okay, don't do it under a light fitting. Okay? So we're going to do it nice and slowly. This isn't about banging out a set of 10, this is about control, which I just demonstrated I don't have. It's so again trying to talk and doing things at the same time. Okay, so feet wide apart, knees not too wide, arms behind you because you're going to swing them forward, and then drive up, knees up. And that's a better landing. Yeah, so remember earlier we were practicing those landings? Get that landing, sink into it if you need to. Okay, so that's one. Remember to get those knees up nice and high at the top. And go. Two. Okay, remember the last three or four, 
Don't cheat yourself, get those knees up nice and high, it's tempting to lean forward and not get your knees as high. Try and get that back straight at the top. And your knees nice and high. Okay, and we've got one more to do, Dev, you ready? No, I think I'm one behind. Oh, okay. No, I'm two behind. Just take time, boys. There's no rush. This is a controlled exercise. Oh, my God, that kills your legs. Yep. Yeah. Been working hard, been putting that effort into those legs. Your legs will be heavy and tired now. Well done. So, you see how tired Deb was getting then? She leant forward, knees didn't come up very high. That means she's been working really hard and really fatigued in those legs. So, well done, guys. So, catch your breath. So, we've got one more minute of exercise I want us to do. And this is about your reaction. So, do you remember before when we were doing fast hands, fast feet? And also we were doing high knees and big arms. Separately we did them. What I want us to do is I'm going to shout either high or fast. You're going to be continuously moving for a minute. When I shout high, you're going to have nice big arms and nice high knees running on the spot like this. When I shout fast, Little movement, but nice and quick. And you're going to keep moving for a whole minute. And I'm going to shout high and fast. And you're going to swap between high knees and big arms and fast feet and little arms. Okay? Everyone got that. So we're going to work for a minute. I'm going to shout high, which means high knees, big arms. Or I'm going to shout fast, which means fast feet, little arms. Hopefully everyone's caught the breath. I haven't because I've been talking. Are we ready to go? Yeah. Okay, and go fast, high, don't worry about speed, just get those knees up, big arms, elbows back, hands forward, fast, faster, little arms, little arms, little arms, fast feet, high, little, fast, ah, you see, got to wait for the calls, like Simon says, Simon didn't say, high, Come on, keep going. Go. High. And now high. Fast. Little arms, tiny arms, tiny movement. Fast arms though. Faster, faster, faster. High. Higher. Fast. Come on, 10 seconds to go. Faster, faster, faster. High. Three, two, one, and relax. Well done. Oh, Great effort, everyone. So, just breathe. Get those legs moving, move that leg to cast it out. We'll do a warm down stretch. Yeah. Okay. So, let's start off sitting down. Okay, so what I want you to do, legs out straight, palms behind you, okay, keep those legs straight, point your toes, slowly walk your hands back, and then just relax. If you control your breathing, it's your breathing, you're in control of it, don't let your breathing control you. Your arms straight, legs straight, and relax. Point those toes. Okay. And slowly walk your hands back up. And keep those legs straight. Put your toes towards you. Slide your arms down your legs. And get your hands as close to your feet as you can with straight legs. If you can grab your feet, put your toes up, even better. Hold that and relax. Breathing will be a little bit harder because you're squishing your lungs up, but still control your breathing. Nice deep breaths. Okay. Slowly sit up and carefully rise to your knees. 
Come on, so sit on your knees, bottom on your heels, top of your feet on the floor, flat behind you, so your soles of your feet are facing up. If you haven't got much space behind you, just shuffle forward, lean back, palms flat on the floor, and you'll find your hips naturally rise, suck your tummy in, and push your hips forward. You should feel the stretching across your chest and down the front of your legs, down your thighs. If you can't feel it stretching, push your hips further forward. Put your hips up as high as you can. Go on, Dave, get those hips up. That's it. Boys, do not let your head drop right back. Keep yeah, it just in line with your neutral. spine, please. Your neutral head. Hold on, I'm going to turn sideways. Yeah, sorry. We'll do some of these sideways. Okay, just relax in this position. Hold this position. So your neck is not like this. Yes, yeah, don't take the head back. It's like that, just looking up at the ceiling. And then just relax your bottom down. Slowly walk your hands forward. And slowly rise to your feet. As I stand, shoulder width apart. Debs, can you show us warrior, please? Uh, yoga warrior? Yes. All right, okay. Sorry, he's confusing. Uh, so, one foot forward, right foot forward, your back foot, not on a tight rope, so not yeah. parallel. Take my shoulder width apart, guys. Shoulder width apart, toes slightly pointed out, on a diagonal, and then you're going to drop your, sorry, I haven't got my balance, I'm on two different mats. Front leg bent forward, back leg is straight, your body is facing the same direction as your front leg, and you're just going to lift your arms up, stretch up. But don't lean forward, you need to be upright. Tilt your, body up. tilt your pelvis forward. Keep the heel on the ground at the back. So your pelvis is not like that. You're not arching your back. Your back is straight. And lean. If lean you feel your back arching, move your shoulders back. So you've got a big beach ball over your head. And just hold and relax. So this is, this is stretching your lower back your abs, the front of your shoulders, your hamstrings, your calf muscles. This is a brilliant yoga pose for after exercise stretching, guys. It's really good. Okay, and so can we swap sides? Gently down, forward, then, then left foot forward, right foot back. Remember, not on a tight rope, get those feet a little bit apart. Right toes, as if you're on a clock, facing number two. Front leg is bent. Facing forwards, not bent forwards, you're up straight. Your back's arching, move your shoulders backwards. So your pelvis is not like that, your back's not, you've not got this arc in your back. You're coming up straight. Once you've got that, put your arms up. You can, if you want, just pull, pull your front leg forward so you've got your straightness, your upright, and then lower your knee down. Yeah, so you should, that back leg should always be straight, but to push the stretch a little, then that front leg ever so slightly, but don't, don't allow your back to arch like that. And your knee and doesn't go over your no. ankle or your toes. You yeah, need to move everything forward with that knee, so you keep that nice straight back shape. So same again, work your shoulders, back, abs, calf muscles at the back, at the bottom, and hamstrings are all being nicely eased out gently, because we can do a lot of stuff on our toes. So, your calf muscles have been working really hard to hold you on your toes. That's it. And relax. Well, well done, guys. Well done, boys. Really good, really good effort. Again, let us know if you found that as hard as we did, or if that was too easy. The video is going to be saved on Facebook so you can watch it again, do your own thing. So, that was our first Tricellation 2.0 session. <laughs> we'll be back again next Sunday. I've shared the link already with you guys for the club's YouTube channel. The videos from Trisolation 1 are still up there. Um, I can't find the Fortnite one. I don't know whether YouTube has taken it down because we've broken some copyright laws or whatever. I don't know. But the superhero one's up there. It's in a couple of parts. Have a go at that. I did share that earlier in the week. If you didn't do that on Wednesday, try that on a Wednesday evening instead of our midweek training. Try any of the videos that are up there. They're all good workouts in one shape or another. Good luck if you go for the deck of cards one. That was tough, but let's see how many of you can do that. And okay. post in Facebook when you do them, guys. Parents, photos of your boys doing them. Just a message just to say what you're doing because yeah. we want you to keep active. Yeah, boys, well done. Well done for joining in. Um, please stay safe. Uh, wear your masks. 
wash your hands all the time, please. Abide by the rules, please, please yeah. abide by the rules. This is so that hopefully, hopefully, fingers crossed, we get Christmas to spend with our families. Yeah. So um, please abide by the rules. Mwah. Love you lots. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. I'm going to go and finish painting in my living room because that's all I have to do because it was raining yesterday. Um, so enjoy the rest of your day. Mwah. Love you lots. Yeah, See thanks you for joining me. Bye. Bye.